much stress. <laughs> easy peasy Japanese! We are going to spend four days exploring Kangaroo Island in South Australia in our van with our two cats. Australia's third largest island with 450 kilometers of untouched landscapes and unbelievable wildlife, Kangaroo Island is frequently referred to as the Australian Galapagos Islands. We made our way to Kangaroo Island in the 6am ferry. The ferry trip takes about 45 minutes and we paid $582 for the return ticket. The ferry starts at Cape Jervis and goes to Penishaw on Kangaroo Island. If we made it on the ferry, someone is stressing because of the swell here, it's, it's not like huge, but it's big enough that we can't walk straight and definitely feeling it. So the poor cat's probably freaking out a little bit, but I think they're safer in there than probably where we are anyway. So are you gonna make it? I'm stressed. Yeah. There's little like throw up bags. <laughs> she was like, oh look, wait, I might need one of those. <laughs> Maybe I should just start doing breathing exercises. <laughs> Our first stop was at the colourful cliffs at Red Banks, which was only half an hour drive from the ferry. This place is one of the island's best kept secrets and it did not disappoint. We stopped off at a beautiful little beach to have some lunch, we got some burritos. The whole family's hanging out! Hey buddy! We just stopped off a little secluded beach. Uh, we found it on wiki camps. So I want to go for a swim. Uh, you didn't even, you didn't even put cozies on. That was yeah, completely it's out. It's still windy. It's not hot. Yeah, but like the water is so blue. I can't you like. Yeah, it's so inviting. So, so you go. I'll watch. Yeah, probably. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit, and probably I think later we'll go to a brewery, and then I think we're gonna stay the night at the brewery as well, which is pretty good. We found this secluded beach through wiki camps. The road to get there wasn't the smoothest, but it was well worth the dirt track. Just have a look at the color of this water. So at the beach, we went back to the van to find both cats just waking up from their morning nap. Oi! Oi! Hi, Pipitina! Easy peasy Japanese! The local brewery in Kangaroo Island offers free camping for anyone. Um, so we just parked there already. That's us and we have neighbors. So we're just going inside now to have a beer as a way of saying thank you. After a beer at the Kangaroo Island Brewery, we came back to the van to let the cats out and Gachinia got confused with the neighbor's mm. van and she almost wanted to change homes. <laughs> okay, so the plan for tomorrow is that we're gonna go to Stokes Bay and Emu Bay. And it's super close to where we are at the brewery here tonight. Emu Bay is long, wide, sandy beaches and apparently you can drive on it. So hopefully that we can get our van on because we're only two wheel drive, so fingers are crossed. And Stokes Bay is apparently has heaps of caves and one of, in Australia, the whitest sand and the clearest water. So I'm super pumped for tomorrow. You excited? I'm so excited. You sound so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today, people. We're going to bed now and we'll see you again tomorrow for breakfast. The 
day started a bit cold and cloudy, but after a hot coffee, it was time to explore more of the beautiful Kangaroo Island. So we made it to Emu Bay and Wade wants to have a go at driving on the beach. So we checked it out. It looks pretty hard at the start. My issue is, is that we're like four ton. So <laughs> fingers crossed that we don't get bogged. I don't even know what we're worried about. It was so easy. We didn't even have to let the tires down. It's super hard, this sand. No dramas whatsoever. Now we're just about to have some breakfast. Danny is making some. Uh, I think we're gonna hang here for a little bit. Probably fly the drone. And maybe, maybe go for a swim if the sun pops out. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for a long time. A very long time. We have not been able to go to the beach, but today we have the best part. Look at this. Just leaving here at Emu Bay on the beach and we're like, oh, let's quickly throw the drone up. We'll get some drone footage of the car going along the beach here because the, the water is so, so, so blue. Driving along, Danny's like, there's some dolphins just here. They're literally like 20 meters away from us, like on the shore. Luckily, we had the drone all the way up, so quickly just went out there. Hopefully, we got some good drone footage. What a day! Yeah, this is... I love days like this. Beautiful weather, beach, kids are outside. <laughs> How good! Although we have seen some amazing views so far, Kangaroo Island suffered massively with bushfires. The 2019-2020 bushfires were the largest in the island's recorded history and burnt more vegetation than any other fire on the island. Almost half of the island burnt at the time and it is unknown how many of the island's wild animals perished. The estimation is that 32,000 head of stock and domestic animals died. The widespread fires also damaged and destroyed homes, businesses, crops, and two people tragically lost their lives. The bushfire zone was declared safe in February 2020, and since then, the entire community has worked together to rebuild homes and protect surviving wildlife. We left Emu Bay and made our way to Stokes Bay, and to get to the beach, we need to go through lots of rocks and caves, apparently, uh, you see there. Oop. There's a sign that says beach through the rocks. So we'll see where that takes us. amazing so you told me it had the one of the beaches in Australia that had the whitest sand and the clearest water and I believe it yeah, but amazing. I wish we had the drone the drone the battery died after we're chasing dolphins so we have no drone but it would be good if we did but yeah the rocks behind us are amazing the there's a mini like pool area here yeah. it's a natural pool the sand is wide. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm walk, in love. You walk through the like the rock openings and we're like, is this the right way? Yeah. And then as you come through, like it just opens up into this paradise. Amazing. We had a plan to sleep at Stokes Bay tonight, but it was about 4.30 and we're just like, ah, oh, now let's keep going into the next campground. We'll kind of check out a few things. So we're at Western River Cove. Uh, it's, it's amazing here. It's down in this massive gully. So I think we're just gonna hang here for tonight. Let the cats out. They're gonna explore a little bit. We're gonna have some dinner, relax, and- There's no reception. No reception, yes. Yeah, so it's a bit peaceful, <laughs> even more peaceful. Uh, yes, yeah, so and what are we up to tomorrow? Flinders Chase tomorrow. Ah, oh, that's the uh, rem Remarkable Rocks. I'm looking forward to that one. That one's gonna be fun. Before dinner, we decided to actually come for a walk down to the beach before it got too dark and too cold. I feel like I'm in a scene of Vikings. 
this place yeah. is unbelievable. And when like, I thought there was nothing more that could surprise me <laughs> here, it gets better and better. Yeah. <laughs> The, the rocks have all this orange on it. It's like someone's painted, but clearly no one's painted orange on these rocks. But place, Kangaroo Island, you're ticking some stuff off. Weren't you saying that it might be one of your favorite places so far? In this yes, place? I think this is, could be one of my most favorite places we've been to so far in what, seven months, almost eight months. Wow, yeah. that's big, huh? This is pretty good. Good morning! Today is Saturday, day 3 for us in Kangaroo Island and I thought I would show you how the payment system works for the campgrounds here, so... Kangaroo Island Council has seven camping grounds spread around the island. Every campground has a pay station and relies on public trust for payment. Some only take cash while others have a card machine. For cash payments, you start by taking an envelope from the box. You then complete one side of it with your information, tear off the top and leave it on your dashboard. Put money in the envelope and deposit it into the safe provided. We paid $22.50 for an unpowered site for the two of us. There was an additional cost of $7.50 per person if more than two people. And powered sites cost $35. First stop of the day is Flinders Chase National Park. Luckily this morning, because we arrived really early, the main like reception uh, visitor center where you gotta pay to get in was closed. But they have Wi-Fi, thank God, because there's no reception here. So super lucky, it was $12.50 per person to get in. And now our, our first stop in here is the Emerald Arch. So apparently there's some seals down here, so we're gonna go check that out and see what we can find. Flinders Chase National Park is recovering naturally following the 2019-2020 summer bushfires. They burnt 96% of the park. Remarkable Rocks and Admiral's Arch are the two most famous attractions of the park and we visited them both. Admiral's Arch is a natural rock arch carved out over thousands of years by the forces of the sea. You can often view seals and their pups from the boardwalk. They will most likely just be chilling, sunbathing or having a play at the natural pools just like these guys. The impressive remarkable rocks form what appear to be a cluster of dangerously balanced granite boulders. This stunning work of nature has been shaped by erosion forces of wind, sea spray and rain over 500 million years. So we just arrived at Remarkable Rocks here at Flinders Chase. And I have to say, they're pretty damn remarkable. I'm impressed. This place is incredible. Yeah, I it hadn't seen incredible. photos, nothing, and I had no expectations, but So we left Flinders Chase National Park and I'm making our way towards maybe the campground where we're staying tonight. We're not sure yet. Um, that's in Vivone Bay and we saw a koala almost on the road so we stopped the car and went to ch check on him and he went up a tree so I think we probably saved him hopefully because then he didn't get run over yeah but, but the claws on koalas they would rip you to pieces yeah like, but that was so nice we were so close yeah. to him we got some good photos and yeah, footage yeah. he's so fluffy uh, he's so nice <laughs> but yeah you want to cuddle yeah, but, you, but you see those claws hanging onto the tree Eesh. they are like this big yeah. and like sharp yeah. so don't recommend getting any close to koala <laughs> so we got to vivon bay and we made the decision that we're not going to sleep here because it's too early the weather's nice, apparently the weather's not going to be nice tomorrow so we're going to see the rest of the island today and then if tomorrow the day is not looking good we just stay in the van working, right? I think so, it's not that exciting but what else do you do? Yeah. <laughs> good morning, today is Sunday, day 4 for us in Kangaroo Island the weather is really ugly outside, it's, it's raining, it's windy, it's not inviting at all we spent the whole morning just working from the van and now we decided to explore a little bit but we have zero intentions of getting out of the van because it's ugly and I'm already stressing <laughs> with getting the ferry tonight at 7.30 Fingers crossed though by then like the winds calm down, the swells calm down, right? It'll I'll be better. You, I'll show you what it looks like <laughs> Thank you. 
We just got back into the car. We're upstairs on the ferry. We come from Kangaroo Island heading back towards Cape Jervis. I think this was the worst ferry ride I have ever been on. Me too. I was sweating. I had to take my jumper off and then my arms started getting sweaty and I was like, I'm going to be sick. The, the, the waves and the so much rocking, I was freaking out. I had to go outside for about 30, 35 minutes. Danny. I thought I was going to cry. I was worried about the cats and the van because I think the problem for me was because of that first ferry we stayed inside the van for maybe five minutes and inside the van I felt like we were like this and now the way back was much much worse than the way to Kangaroo Island I was just thinking oh my god so the, the, cars, the cats are flying inside the van everything is opening and shaking oh, I can't hold. we got back to the car the cats were sleeping they had no idea what was going on but I'm just glad it's over I, think I don't want to be on a ferry ever again. It's <laughs> just like, I don't want to go to an island anymore. I'm done with islands. So that's a wrap for our Kangaroo Island video. Amazing place. Absolutely loved it there. One of my favorite places in Australia so far. Highly recommend. Amazing. We are now back onto the mainland and continuing our trip around Australia. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.